Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living with term of having. I am a proficient pendulum practitioner, literally a pendulum master, and I was allowed by God to utilize my tool. There are many people who want to utilize a pendulum, but sometimes it's not right for their soul at the particular time when they're curious about it. I had an issue with one of the gentlemen who used to run a shop in Noblesville that not only did he take my content that I created, but he put it out on his counter as if it was completely okay to steal from me my ideology. He learned it from me. I did readings for him and his girl at the time, but I was angry about that to the point that he threw me out of the shop. He didn't understand what I was saying, but he should have. That in truth, not everyone has the right by the Lord's house to do the things that people want to do. Everybody wants power today. But in order to be a proficient practitioner, you have to be fully submitted to God, the Lord above all things. Even the most famous psychics and mediums who are on television are hesitant to talk about God in a really, really refined way because their personal faith practice isn't exactly something public knowledge to the rest of the world. I mean, if somebody uses sage because they choose to, that's okay. But in my experience with sage, it's a bad idea. It actually brings in more chaos to life than it brings in terms of cleaning the air. My suggestion would be to use something a little bit more holy in nature for cleaning the air. Some sort of jasmine oil or some sort of frankincense burn or some sort of Nang Champra, which is sort of of the Orient and what they tend to burn at the temples of the Lord overseas. So that would be my recommendation. But that's just me. I also do not like the smell of sage, and I did not have a good experience after I burned some in my home to try to clear out the riffraff. The hardest part about growing your faith is recognizing that you're going to be challenged every step of the way for your faith. You see, it doesn't matter exactly what your faith is, but it does matter to God. There are particular faiths that are acceptable to the Lord's house and certain faiths that are not acceptable at this present time in the world, in meaning in the history of the world, to God. And the Lord above all creatures has the right to say what he, she, they, as a divine parent to the world, say is okay. Does that make sense to you? Or are you so arrogant that you think that any religion in the world is acceptable to God at this moment of time? That's a lie you tell yourself because we are human and we are not God. But there are channels like some of the famous people you've seen on TV in the past or in the present that are actual mediums and channels of spirit. Everyone has a different tool that they use or a different gift that they've been given by the Lord. Please do not say those people are frauds. And please do not say that those people are of Satan's house. There is no such thing as a Satan's house. And I personally love the scene in Angel, which is a television show, in which he thinks he's going to hell, and at the end of the scene he literally finds himself right back in earth. And that is very true today about what hell is like. You see, when you try to pursue your faith, someone will always challenge you. It doesn't matter what tool you love to utilize to bring yourself closer to the Lord, as long as the Lord allows you those gifts to do so. But there will always be a human being who will act as an aggressor in an assaultive way in order to be an antagonizer of you and your faith pursuits to the Lord. Trust me, it will happen no matter what faith you pick. Someone will mock you, someone will make fun of you, Someone will literally tell you you're, you're dabbling in something immoral or legal because it's not their Christian faith, which is the only way to God, which is bullshit according to the Bible and everything else. But most people tout verses that they've only barely heard and they've not really mastered. In my life, I've read a lot of works on the Lord. A lot of works, from Christianity to Kabbalah to Buddhism to Shintoism to Confucianism, to Taoism, which I'm not crazy about, but that's okay. And sometimes they call that Tao, to, uh, did I already say Kabbalah? Hopefully I did. To Judaism and a lot of Catholic works. 
The Blood of Jesus is a very powerful book, I thought. And I love the saints. But here's the deal. You have to pick the works that speak to you with the Lord's help at this time. The value of a pendulum practice is that if the Lord allows you, if He gives you the authorization to access the angels around you, and if you practice only being in the white light and not the dark spirit that harms people, then you will have the right to ask simple questions with a pendulum or a dangling necklace or something that's weighted. Sometimes police officers can use their whistles that are on some sort of a lanyard to do this to keep themselves safer with the Lord's help. But they have to be willing to submit to the truth of God, that they are not God. And that if they want to remain safe, they must pray to the Lord Most High. They must ask that the angels of white light come around them. And they must be not presuming to know everyone's business. And when you submit like that, you find the magic of Jesus Christ and the magic of every aspect of the world's religion, in a way. You see, the Holy Ghost is something talked about in the Trinity across every book of the Lord. And yet most people, Baptists included, are terrified of the Holy Ghost. The minute you start to say, I can show you the Holy Spirit, they freak out. And they're like, what a shame for you. You have no clue what this can help you to do. To make better decisions for your life. To find the right wife. To find the right clothing to wear a job interview. To find the right dog for your family. To find the right car to purchase and invest in. It is absolutely truthful because the angels of the Lord knows every single device that's ever been made. Because the Lord gave that wisdom to some human being. But their job, their sole job in this world, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit's whole purpose is very clearly defined in chapter 10 of the book of John to be a shepherd to help lead you through your life course and if you're not willing to be led in the Christian Christendom there's plenty of other religious types and religious books that you can read in your language of choice that will help you find God 